previous video i will show you how you can store the data and first of all i create a layout like this and after that i store the data in the firebase okay now in this video i will show you how you can store an image in the firebase storage and after that you can fetch the link from the firebase storage and store that link in the firebase database so you can retrieve the image by using this link easily okay so first of all create a button like this for the image and then when user click on this button i fetch the image sorry select the image from the gallery and store that image in the firebase storage so let's start so first of all select this android from here and open this file store post dot dot and come down after that create a new button here before the submit button first of all i copy this code to give some space between this and now create a new button Give, give some padding after that create a container so in this child section i create a container and inside this container i write first of all a text view i create a text view and inside this text view i show the text select image and set the font size 20 after that i create an attribute decoration and inside this decoration i style the button so inside this decoration i decorate this button like this so first of all create a box decoration and inside this box decoration i create this attribute gradients which change the color of button like this first of all the button is purple then light purple and then pink okay so that's done for the designing of the button and now include this contrast method so someone click on this button this method is called and inside this method i create a function call so first create a function above and then call this function here so first of all I am going to create a file and click on this. So I create an image variable which type is file and import the library for the file ok by clicking alt enter and now here I am going to create function and in this function I select the image from the gallery okay so first of all we have to include this image picker library so select the project from here and go to this file and import the image picker library so I add this library for image picker and go to the man order file and press control s for save and click on this button get dot dependency okay to get the library so this library is import successfully now close this and go to the store post and dot dot and click on this image dot image picker and press alt enter to import this image picker library and after that remove this one because I write image here and remove I am and I write here IMG here also IMG. So you can see that here is an error because I think so I import rogue library for the file here so just remove this file from here 
and you can see that again here is an error so again press alt enter and import this dirt io file okay so this is the file for the this file attribute sorry class and now i am going to call this function So when someone click on this button, the function is called and the control move to the gallery and the image select selected by the user is stored in this image. Okay. Now let's store this image in the Firebase storage. So yes, in here. First of all, remove this and and write all here because if any one of the data is empty we have to show this else condition this flash bar okay and also now right here image one not equals to null so image And now, first of all, I store the image in the Firebase storage. And when the image is stored successfully in the Firebase, then we are going to get the data, uh, sorry, get the URL from the Firebase storage and, the, and then store all the data in the Firebase database. Okay, so now I am going to make this code comment. And after that, first of all, go to the fire, uh, Firebase and open this story section and go to this rules and set the rule like this okay so i comment the previous code which is written here and i write this code here okay so after that create a new folder here okay you can see that here is a chat folder i create previous so you create a new folder here sorry create a folder here so i write the folder name photo and add the folder so yes i use this folder now okay now first of all create a path for the image like this so you can see that this type of error so press alt enter to import this library for the storage reference but i did not add the library for the storage so now select here project and go to this file to import the library for the firebase storage and write this dependency and don't give any space here otherwise you can get the error and again select the android from here and go to the main order and get this dependency
so we store the image by writing this code in the database and we wait for some time until the image is stored in the firebase storage successfully okay and after that when the image is stored in the firebase storage successfully we have to get the url and store in the firebase and now after that when the image is stored in firebase storage we have to get the url by writing this code so i use this storage reference to get the url okay and store the url in this variable and after that i am going to create this variable which store the url okay and after that we store this in the firebase so i create this variable here and now copy this code which we have created before and write the code here if this uploaded file url is not empty not equals to null then we are going to store the data in the firebase and now this time also image so underscore okay now i have done the code and i think so there is no error right now and now let's run the code and see the output So first of all before running this code we have to remove this because we have created this a folder photo and after that now again run this code and you can see the app is running successfully. Okay now I am going to open this app or this layout is something wrong with this layout. Anyways, first of all, I am going to select the data. And after that, I am going to copy some link from the YouTube. So I am going to copy the link of this. And now I paste the data. After that, I click on this select image button and allow the permission. Okay. And you can see that here is a gallery. Select an image from the gallery. So I select this image. And the image is selected. Now I am going to press on this submit button. And now let's check the database. So now click on this folder photo. And you can see that here is an image. So open this image. And this is the same image which we selected. And now open the database. And in this database, you can see that here is a folder. Uh, sorry, here is a node which is post data and in this folder a new link is created and when I open this link, sorry, when I open this key, you can see that here is an attribute image and in this image the link of the image is stored, okay. So yes, so in the next video I will show you how you can get the image from this URL and that's it for this video and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and share with your friends see you soon allah